correct. Uh, King K. Rule and uh, Inkling, they were referred to as the new killers. People had no idea how to deal with it. Some people still don't. Um, but we're seeing a King K. Rule ditto right now, actually. So this is Asta versus uh, versus uh, Winter Shorts. Winter Shorts is the uh, black one with uh, player one, where Asta is the king. Uh, Inkling was always uh, thought of as one of the best characters. Actually, before Pikachu, Pichu, those characters were thought of the best, people thought like Lucina and Inkling were the best, some of the best characters in the game. Correct. Correct. But now they've increased uh, Pichu's, along with Olimar's, you might add. The hurt box. Actually, Olimar's hurt box now extends outside of the shield a little bit. So certain characters that have fairs or dares that reach very far below them, they can shield poke Olimar and uh, potentially get a kill. There's actually one Olimar that's very consistent. Uh, I also, it tells me about that all the time. Yeah, I also really uh, Olimar is the most hated character. I don't hate him, but I definitely don't like him. Let's put it that way. People just didn't know. Um, I, he, he's, he's not annoying, it's just really hard to deal with, especially when you have somebody who knows what they're doing, so, for instance, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think now, it will, uh, uh, much easier to deal with, uh, oh, that was a good conversion there, that, uh, Winter Shorts it's, had, it's much easier to beat now, mm-hmm, because now people are really, really good, so, correct, Correct. Yeah, but then you have people like Mirren or uh, the Buzz, who are very calculated players. So they always know what Pikmin, uh, not necessarily what Pikmin are going to come out, but what order they have their Pikmin in. They'll switch them mid match uh, so that they can get the best benefit out. Of so, you know, you've got your Fire Pikmin, that's really good for damage. Uh, your Blue Pikmin, your Ultra, is really good throws. Uh, your, or actually, I think I might have that back there. So the white Pikmin is really good for damage. That will rack up damage very, very quickly. Um, and then you have your uh, electric Pikmin that will add a little bit more stun uh, to the hits. I, I feel like, um, now people don't have So, like, oh, is this still skipping on That was a good reaction by Holden. It was good there. Oh, and that was a great down smash. Right, right. Yep. So, we got Holden. Uh, now we actually got some serious gameplay here. The two uh, got their little mini match out of the way. I actually didn't even see the one. <laughs> uh, Oh no! Yeah, it was Winter Shorts. You got a you got a Nair to fair conversion uh, right at the edge. So so uh, Asta's finding trouble landing on stage, and he uh, pays the price there, taking the S smash to the face as he gets up. And now Arson's out to play, but he was forced out by Austin. So. <laughs> Just arson by himself without Joker. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to agree with that. Like he, uh, he uh, himself as a character would be kind of. Ridiculous. And that was a great jump fair. So, so, 
That is correct, yeah. He can um he can take damage just kinda like how Cloud can to charge his limit or uh, in this case uh R Sun. Uh but uh, there is like a easier way to charge it by just taking damage or like using the counter mechanic that he has uh, allotted. So now people have really discovered the go! So we have the run back on battlefield. Uh, we got Dark Pit, uh, Asa going back to his Dark Pit, and then uh, Holden is keeping up with his Joker. So, so far, Asta is netting some pretty good damage here. Yeah, if uh, Holden's able to kill, uh, carry this one all the way to the uh, finals, then we'll have our winner. <laughs> yeah, typically that only happens three times, and one person will realize that, like, this is just a stalemate, and they'll back on there. But Holden, uh, assuring that he has a safe landing by using, uh, not touching on uh, Eha, uh, to get back to stage. And I did not realize how similar their uh, up B's look until the snap. Oh, uh, but that was a unsafe side B, and for some reason Holden was able to uh, punish it. He might have been in hit stun just because of the shield. Oh, and that was uh, pretty much a free spike there, especially with hits up B. There's no hitbox on it. Now Holden... Oh, and he returns the favor by forcing him to air dodge low, and and that was actually a good thing he did that because Joker can probably still recover from that with his grapple. Yeah, I think a lot of people thought that Joker was gonna be I actually stopped. I actually, besides the fact that I don't like Joker that much, I actually stopped playing him because of his grapple. <laughs> Um, I don't I don't like grappling up these or where you're forced to use it. Like I mean Samus, Zero Suit Samus, uh, um, the, the Richter, Richter and Simon. Uh, oh, he didn't jump before the bear. And here it comes. Uh, oh, he's waiting it out this time. This game out. I really like it actually. It's really solid. So it's kind of like Duck Hunt, where the first hit of the spike uh, will kind of like set, will pretty much gimp you and set you up for the actual like spike hitbox. So it's almost a guaranteed spike as long as you get the gimp. Uh, I actually didn't know that. Alright. Oh. So Austin were able to bring it back. So Austin staying alive in this. What are we at? Uh, is this? We're at 2-1. 2-1? Since we're going to have to go. Alright, we're going to town and city. Uh, we'll see what the, uh, the characters counter picks up. Yeah, you catch a card. Um, so, yeah, so like the Elgato HD 60S would be like a great place to start. Like for the switch, all you wouldn't need like a an internal one though. Uh, like the best one would actually be the Elgato 60s, but I mean they do. They, they, right, exactly. Um, or right, um, and then also uh, the the internal uh, 4K one that Elgato offers is well, it's 4K, and the switch can't even produce uh, gameplay. So 
This, even though this is as smooth as it is, it's uh, all 720. Uh, but it is 60 frames per second. Streamlabs is free, uh, it's really easy software, it's actually made for like beginners essentially, um, I mean that's what I use for my setup, uh, and then if, if you want to like get a mic that's really like easy to use, that doesn't break the bank, uh, the Yeti Nano is a really good one, um, and yeah, everything else, uh, I can't remember, I, I use a Logitech 930 uh, E or S for my, yeah, for the camera, um, but yeah, there are some people who uh, stream without cameras. Yeah, the yeah all the the Logitech mic that I or camera that I have also comes with a mic, but it, the quality isn't as great, so I have them separate. Yeah, Yeti Nano. So Yeti is like typically what most people go for. Um, there are definitely better mics out there, but Yeti's the most affordable and easily uh, like attainable option. But the Yeti Nano is like a, basically a smaller version of it. Um, I think it's missing one. Uh, I can't remember. Name, but oh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, and actually the Yeti Nano is also a cardioid mic. Uh, I think it switches to Omni as well, too. So Omni Direction. But the, the full Yeti will have three different options. So, Winter Shorts takes the whole tournament here at Smash Lander.